so what up guys it's Chusum C and in today's video I'm going to be telling you guys how to plan a modern city so pretty much what it is is that a lot of people want to start a modern city and a lot of people want to build one and a lot of people do know how to start one but an essential part of building your modern city is actually being able to plan it efficiently so that when you do build it it does turn out to be great as you can see I'm here in my world and my world wasn't planned so I'm going to show you an example of where bad planning can um, not be great so for example let's take a look at this world so in this world as you guys can see we have sort of a housey area over here and then we have sort of an urban area over here I did not plan this world out I just intended on building a lot of modern houses then I decided that it would be a city and I it was just not planned out that's why as you guys can see here there's sporadic houses around here there's like houses houses there there's an unfinished house over there um, and it's just really not planned out as you guys can see there's a road that goes all the way behind here which is just really like un, I guess not unprofessional because it's not really professional but as you guys can see it doesn't really look like it fits part of the city so to avoid problems like this you need to be able to plan your city effectively um, so what I did try to do is I did try to you know sort of restructure the roads as you guys can see over there I tried to add a little cul-de-sac cul over there I tried to add a mansion over there and I tried to make this area specifically urban I tried to make this area over here have a bit of leisure in it as it's starting to and this area over here by the docks um, have some life to it as well and then once we came over to this area here I tried to add a bit of as you guys can see I've got McDonald's I've got a cafe and I've got a apartment building and I've got some apartment buildings over there I tried to make it have um, some you know apartments so pretty much the way how to do this guys is I'll show you I'm gonna go to my other modern city which I'm doing a tutorial on and that one is a full plan and it's all being planned out and I'll show you guys why that city is you know gonna be a lot better than this one not to say that this one is bad just that it could be a lot better if I actually managed to plan it out and it would have had um, a ton of more potential so I'll be with you guys so as you guys can see we're now in the modern city and some of you guys may be thinking but Drizm C this city doesn't look you know too much better than my old one and for some reason i can't jump okay there we go so yeah as you guys can see this is you know the modern city the tutorial one and some of you may be thinking as i said before you know drism c this doesn't look you know too much better it doesn't look that great um but this one does have planning and it does look better as a start because it will be um planned out and it will actually have structure towards it so as you guys can see i've got some light here i've got some I've got some streets and I know where everything is going to be. I know it's going to be on that street. I know it's going to be on that street. I know it's going to be on that street. And so do the people who are following this tutorial. So if you guys don't know already, this whole, everything here has been built on a tutorial. And there's a lot more that I should have done. It's just because of time. But the key to planning a modern city is a miniature plan. And at least that's what I believe. So here is a very, 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 very small scale um miniature plan and the reason why i say this is because this is very very small so as you guys can see here i'm not sure if you guys can identify this but i've done this many times in screenshots pretty much what this is is this is like let me just get out my hand so i can point at stuff this is the way forward when it comes to planning our city so this block here represents that block that entire block and then this block here represents this entire block here and then this block here represents from there to there so of course you know I, if i could do this a bit thinner than i would but you know i can't just because of the way how things are so basically what this is in fact i should do what i should do is if there's any string i should add some string just to illustrate my point better because i believe that when people apologies for the sound guys but when people do in fact plan their cities like this it does turn out a lot better and so as you guys can see where the string is I'm not sure if you're watching in HD or not but where the string is is pretty much where the roads are so what I've done is I've shown you guys how to plan this out so as you guys can see this is obviously water because it's blue and then we'll know if we want to build something let's say we wanted to build a park in this area we could place a grass block and if we wanted to let's say build an arena in this area we could let's say place whatever block we would use to build that arena let's say you want to build a green arena we could place that there then we could you know begin to divide up the area so since these areas are sort of like um i guess commercial areas 
we could have areas for let's say um, and this doesn't apply to the actual city tutorial this is just being used as an example we could say this area this area and this area are going to be used as residential areas as well as this area and then these areas are going to be some more commercial areas with a park in between so as you guys can see already we've got a large scale of what's going to happen and then on this side where the modern stuff is because there isn't anything built up from the ground yet i hadn't placed anything there but now that there is as you guys can see what i'll show you guys when we get there you know we can determine what buildings are going to be where and then what we can also do is we can also determine if the buildings are going to be a lot higher if we want to um and you know sort of determine on a sort of smaller scale how the skylines are going to work so i spent a lot of time trying to plan out the city because i know it's very hard for people to build their own um and some people struggle with that so i tried to build uh, my own tutorial and this series is going to run for a very long time because i believe that um you know people are gonna eventually follow this tutorial and come out with a, a great city as well as me so this uh, these are two buildings that i've done tutorials on this one is currently in progress and this one has been finished so um yeah so i'm going to show you guys another way to um you know help plan out your buildings and stuff but in fact i'll do that on another video so um because it's just a whole different story so guys if you didn't do the video don't forget to like guys if you have any of your own tips don't forget to leave them in the comment section below and guys it's producer mc and until the next time guys it's gonna be peace from me